Hello everyone and welcome to the Uke Stuff channel. Today I have an unboxing for you, so we'll get to that in a second. I was just thinking, do I need to write an unboxing song to use as an intro? Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, but on my one minute ukulele reviews, I wrote a little one minute ukulele review jingle. So if you think I should have a little jingle that I sing while I do this, please let me know. So um, this box came today. It's kind of oddly shaped for an ukulele box. Usually they're long and wide or triangular in shape. And this one's bigger than average. So, opening that up. And put the knife down over there. And inside is your traditional triangular box. And you can see on the top that it is a ranch ukulele. Looking to see if there's any other markings on it that I need to know. Crafted to be the best. Now, a little bit about this before I open it. Ranch has consistently been one of the top search items that has come up for me on Amazon over the last few years. I had a student last year when I was teaching middle school that their grandmother had bought a ranch tenor and I reviewed it on site because I was just tuning it up at school and I was really impressed with what I saw. So I did reach out to Ranch and I asked them if they'd ever be interested in letting me review one of their ukuleles and they were very kind and sent me this one to review. So let's take a look at it and this is not the full review. That'll be coming in a couple of weeks. So open the top and inside you get the gray bag. Now there are some other things on the inside of this insurance. So let me put the ukulele down for a second. Let's take a look what we've got. Ranch customer service. There's a chord chart on the back. We can take a look at that later. So you get that. And then the other things that you get in the package. i make sure I open this on screen. The other day the unboxing and do that. You get a strap that's a one inch strap with double strap ends. That's great because nothing is worse than having an ukulele with strap buttons that only has a strap end on one side or is the, the neck loop kind. So you get the, I think that's blue, red, and white, but it could be black too. Then you get an extra pack of Nile Gut strings. You get a cleaning cloth. You get a tuner, and then again, I don't understand, but you get picks as well. Uh, we really need to get the ukulele industry starting to ship leather or felt picks with their ukuleles. I know that the plastic ones might be less expensive, but if we're going to include one, might as well. Now, really, just quickly looking at it, um, you have a single strap on the back, which is just fine. You've got a non-extra padded handle, so it's just the strap. You've got a small pocket on the front, just to make sure opens up halfway and you can put stuff in it. And then we open up the case. Pretty decently thick padded. And of course you've got your ukulele on the inside of it. So let's take a look at that. Alrighty. Here we go. And much like the Tenor Ranch, I remember, uh, just, I'm just going to give you some quick thoughts about it. You get that kind of different headstock, which is nice. You get the reminder that you have Aquila mm. Nile Gut strings on there. You get an etched rosette. It's a satin mahogany finish. You also get an ABS binding on the top and on the back. And on the top, you also get that purfling, that little thin... Uh, line of black, white, black uh, between the binding and then the instrument itself. Let's see other things. You get 12 frets, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 frets in, in total. You get closed gear tuners. That used to be such an upgrade, but so many now include it. And of course, strap buttons. Pretty thin laminates, so you get a pretty resonant sound already. I already mentioned the slightly arched back, which is a nice feature. And we'll take a look at it some more. So this is something I'll be playing for the next couple of weeks. But let's tune it up. No guarantees here. Not too high.
All right, let's do it one more time. There it is. All right. Now, don't be upset about it going out of tune because that's going to happen. And as a little side message, if you buy a new ukulele, expect it to take a while for strings to settle in. And there are some situations, I'm not saying it's Ranch does this, so please note, but just so you know, there are some situations where people will put on a tag that says that they are Kila Supernalgat strings, which generally do stretch and hold somewhat quickly, but they're not Aquila Supernalgat strings and they just never settle. I've had that with a couple of other products. I'm not saying Ranch did that, but just so you know, if you buy your own ukulele and they don't settle in really quick, you'll know that you just got to keep playing it and playing with it. And I'll be checking action out later, and I'll be letting you know about that. Action, of course, is adjustable on most ukuleles. So even if things aren't quite where you'd want them to be in terms of playability of an instrument, you can really quickly fix it. Otherwise, I'm not sh feeling sharp fret ends here, so I'm very happy about that. So other than that, it's going to be fun to play this for a while, get a chance to know what it's like, and give you kind of a more long-term perspective on it. You will see it in some play-along tutorials, as well as in a future one-minute ukulele review and a uke guide review. So thanks for watching the channel, and as always, I'll be back soon with some more uke stuff for you.